salutes, salutes, salutes. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, Big Fruit. And today, we will be hosting World vs. Wives, Part 1, Brotherly Competition. Listen, I'm going to get straight to it, man, because I know y'all been waiting for this, man. Y'all been waiting for this. Y'all have been waiting for this. World vs. Wives, Part 1 brotherly competition now the brotherly competition with world and wise man that shit goes back to our childhood when wise was a teenager me and world was kids i say that to say because me and world grew up hand in hand in 325 <laughs> Hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? I ain't have no older brothers, so wise took to me, and then you know, I was like a little brother to them. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Miss Hardy, all his older brothers, Decky, Mopey, Highness, and of course, Wise. You know what I'm saying? They took me in like a little bro. But the brotherly competition with these two, man, that shit go way back, bread, bro. It go back. Listen, it was a time when we had our own our little di- identities because we were so young. We was kids. You know what I'm saying? We was doing it all, playing with G.I. Joes in the building in the hallway, playing with Smurfs in the hallway, playing on the elevator, kicking people doors and running. We did all that shit in the building. You know what I'm saying? Breaking lights in the hallway. We did all that shit in the building. Play the four corners in the elevator, plus the lights out, beat things up in the elevator. We did all that shit in the building. That's when we had our own identity. But then it came a time when we tried to run behind the older dudes. Now, in 325, we had a crew. Rest in peace, Wise. Stan. Han. Lord. Earl. They had a mall. Then they had an older generation, Moby, Decky, Wesley. Like, we had some older, you know what I'm saying, some older dudes in my building to, to look up to. And when we started looking up to them, that's when the brotherly competition with world and wise began. It began early, man. Because anything wise would do that seemed risque, <laughs> world would emulate it and the reason why world would emulate it because it nine times out of ten anything right wise would do that was risque me and butter would do it because butter had two older brothers Irvin rock who ran with wise as well so me and butter was out there world didn't have to be out there so world would be out there just because he wanted to emulate wives. So that competition started with a fascination. Of he wanted to be like his big brother. But Wise wasn't the big brother to throw him under the wing and be like, come on, let's do this. Nah, Wise was the big brother who wanted to put a foot in his ass and tell him, get out of here, go to the front of the project, get from back here. <laughs> it's dark, get your ass in front of the building. Like Wise was that big brother. We were so bad, world had to, he had to test the waters. And he would do everything he saw wise with. I mean everything. Growing up, wise and the niggas used to shoot joints in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? Because Mo, Mo and Deck went to the service. They came home with the knuckle check, changed crowd of cheese money. Used to have all the little niggas in the building fighting. We was the babies. Because we saw them do it. And wise would do it. World wanted to do it. So now we all doing it because world doing it. Everything wise did, world would emulate. Even that digging pocket shit. Oh my God. Yo, listen. (laughs) 
when Wise came out the house of that digging pocket shit, son, you know, he had a little rep. He was doing what he do. He was, he was taking it. Everybody was taking it. I'm talking 85, 86. Everybody was taking it. We was the little niggas trying to learn how to take it. <laughs> Yo, world didn't have to be out there. He was the baby in the family. His mom's worked. She, she made good money. She took care of him. He was low this, low that. He went to private school. Like, he didn't have to be out there. <laughs> but I can recall those days, man, when we used to be in Midtown trying to be like the older niggas. And world used to be with us. On some fake digging pocket shit. Yo, buddy, you remember that shit? <laughs> World ran up behind a nigga one time. It's some fake dig, fake up. Uh, uh. <laughs> some fake shit. <laughs> World ain't never took no money in Midtown. Man. <laughs> he ain't have to. But he would go out there just to emulate wives. He even learned how to shake them dice. Because he wanted to emulate Wise. If you from LG, you know Wise like to die, like the dice. Wise like the gamble. But y'all also know World like that shit too. Like World addicted to that shit. He did it emulating Wise. So now, instead of Wise. <laughs> Being flattered by his little brother fascination, that shit getting on wise nerve. Because world getting he getting his uh his behavior, his his negative behavior is starting to progress. He doing everything wise do. World was in cabin school. It started with dropping out of cabin school, running around with fatal, stealing cars. That's where it started. <laughs> World's running around with Fatal stealing cars, tagging his name and shit on some graffiti shit. World must have thought he was half Bodequa for a minute. <laughs> running around with this nigga Fatal. That's how it started. From the stealing cars. Then it was the dogs running around with wild dogs. <laughs> World's running around with Terminator. You know what I'm saying? He had the wild dogs and shit. Running around with wild dogs. Then... After the wild dogs and the stolen cars, it came snatching earrings and shit. I remember World Little Wayno, rest in peace. World Little Wayno had a little thing, needs running around snatching girls' earrings trying to get gold fronts made. <laughs> yeah, then that, that shit ain't last long. They did that shit for a hot minute. <laughs> they just really kill them, little niggas. <laughs> then the fake carrier pistol sell drug shit started. And when that shit started, trying to emulate Wise, that shit got on Wise's nerves to the point where Wise was running down on niggas in the hood. Y'all niggas better not be giving my little brother no guns. Y'all better not be giving my little brother no drugs. Right? And for the most part, Niggas was respecting that. I ain't wise, no doubt. Niggas was respecting that. But on the other hand, niggas wasn't giving wide world no drugs and no gun. World was making moves. And the moves he was making, <laughs> he had the older niggas on the presser to the point where if he did run down on nigga, yo, I need a hammer. Yo, I need some work. They wasn't going to tell him no because the niggas was shook. World was, he was, he was coming to age. <laughs> He was starting to bug out. So now the competition began like this. This is how it began. <laughs> Wise, Wise did his thing. 89. Wise had to practice some smack. 90 come around. Wise take four. Wise bounce back. World decides to start hustling. World rubbing shoulders with niggas wise new niggas introduce wise and introduce niggas to the world world making his own moves the little homies in the projects come around this is when the little homies in the projects start formulating shout out to Dzo shout out to Popsy shout out to eBay 
Shout out to baby boy Fonzo. Shout out to Portal. Rest in peace to Peter Brad. Like, this is when the crew start to formulate, right? On some drug shit. Everybody carrying guns. Everybody being reckless. World start to formulate these little crew. Shout out to Hustle Hard Mouth. Rest in peace, Wizzo. Because they was just a bunch of little niggas who used to run around all day doing nothing. <laughs> so now, world watching why. Why has got these niggas running around all day doing nothing. But they hustling on the low. All them niggas got jacks on them. They know who they were. They know what it was. World watch that shit. World start putting work in the niggas' hands around him. Now they moving. This is the beginning of what eventually ended up C and B. This is the beginning of that shit. It was just world and a couple little niggas. Porter and Peter Rad was doing their own thing. I was doing my own thing. I was fucking with sleeping another nigga at the time. World was doing his own thing. And the competition get like this, right? It's some funny shit. You had to be there. Like, <laughs> remember I told you Wise was taking falls and shit. <laughs> While Wise was taking his falls, World was going to come up. But we all would be in the same crib. Now, I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> me and my boy sleeping another nigga. We doing our own thing, but I was just being this crib. This was home for me. And, and world got his little niggas. They doing their thing. Wise will come through. Pulled on Peter Rabbit doing their own thing. Wise will come through. <laughs> and next thing you know, somehow, some way, <laughs> Wise was finagling niggas off a of world crew. <laughs> And niggas will be fucking with why. So one week niggas will fuck with why. The next week niggas will be fucking with world. Like it was crazy. That's when this competition started. See, <laughs> see, you had to be there and see this shit because to the world, it was world and wise or world, world, world. But no, it was really wise. World learned everything from wise and a couple others that wise put him around. But it was wise. And he forever be my big homie. That was it was wise. And the competition started with wise. Wise got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Wise was stealing world workers and shit like that. That's what started it. So now they used to have fake beef. <laughs> Yo, you think I'm bullshit, son? Niggas used to have fake beef. <laughs> fake beef. Yo, if I'm not lying, if I'm not mistaken, I think World and Wise gripped up on each other. <laughs> the crews gripped up on each other. This shit is hilarious, son. And then niggas would be in the same crib two weeks later. <laughs> in the same beds, all that shit. The shit was funny. That's when the brotherly competition started. And then it was to the point where after they would go through shit like that, it would come to the point where <laughs> wise wise to be down the world to be up and <laughs> remember how I told you <laughs> that nigga wise spun me for like two months I'm gonna give you 14 grand and he ain't give me shit world would do that shit to wise I kid you not yo I'm gonna give you a big H ooh I will nigga you, you gonna get it to me stop playing get yo them niggas <laughs> Yo, that seems to be funny, son. This nigga playing a game. And then why is it come up to the crib and take some shit? <laughs> He'll take some shit. Now them niggas beefing. World gripped up looking for Wise. Wise gripped up. The mom's beefing. Yo, what the fuck is y'all doing? Yo, this shit used to be crazy. Brotherly competition, son. It seems to be crazy. And the people on the outside never knew this funny shit. <laughs> they never knew this funny shit, son. This shit used to be crazy. Brotherly competition, man. I kid you not. Yeah, man. World went and bought that act. Wise was locked up. <laughs> Fuck that. Wise came home, got to it. 
Wise little boy, he shit here. <laughs> Brotherly competition. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, them two niggas dead, boy. That was something else, man. But I tell you what, man. Wise didn't want that shit for work. And, you know, a lot of people talk about, yo, that nigga world, yeah, that nigga went crazy, he bugged out. Now, let me tell you, Shep, Shep, Damian Hardy ain't never been no dummy, man. <laughs> that boy ain't never been no dummy, man, since we were babies. He always been sharp. He always been on his toes. I admit he went through a, a life-changing situation, and I'm going to get to that in part two when I talk about my brother's keeper. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to that. Because, listen, I ain't holding nothing back. I ain't holding nothing back when I get there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to it. We're going to get to the meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? It's out there, so I'm going to talk about it. We're going to get to the meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? The world ain't never been no dummy, Sean. And I put my life in his hands at one time. Like, yo, son, I'm going to trust in you that everything going to be all right. Like, I believed in him like that. And he was my guy. You know what I'm saying? Word. That was my dude. That was my fucking guy, man. Word. I snapped your neck for that nigga. Word the mother, that was my dude. Yo, that brotherly competition was something else, boy. <laughs> Everything wise did world just had to emulate it, man. And the two biggest things he emulated, man. The two biggest things he emulated. The fucking dice. <laughs> the fucking dice. And hustling, man. Yeah. But World did it a little better. And I think when World turned it up on Wise, it fucked with Wise ego. Wise got up on World when World started slipping. World started slipping in like 9, 8. World started slipping. 9, 7. Too much drinking. Too much partying. Wise getting his shit right. Yeah. World catch a couple cases. Call the case. Fucking with Porto. Tampering with a witness, <laughs> fucking with me, tampering with witness. Yeah, we, you, we, 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 listen, man, we've been through the ring. You know what I'm saying? CMP went through the ring, man. I had witness tampering charges on my own case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga said CMP backing people down and exits, threatening them to come, don't come to court for me. That shit was a lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, I said, world backed her down, told her she better not testify on portal. <laughs> World caught that case. Like, yeah, we've been through it, man. We've been through it. And I think when World was going through all that bullshit, Wise was handling his business. <laughs> Wise was handling his business. Yeah, man, Wise was handling his business. Yeah, man, that brotherly competition was something else, boy. Oh, look, I forgot this part. Even with the chicks. Look how it ended. World had to go get little Kim. Wise had her first. No disrespect to little Kim. But she fucked with Wise at one time. World just had to have her. <laughs> Brotherly competition. <laughs> no disrespect to Kimberly Jones. She family. But she know what it is. Man. Brotherly competition. Listen, man. I just wanted to get up on here and do this part one. Yeah. I had to do a part one brotherly competition for my boys, man. Rest in peace, Wise. You will forever be my big homie, my big bro, the only nigga in the street. Now, when I went to prison, I met a lot of big bros. But before I went to prison, the only nigga in the street was a big bro to me was Myron Hardy. Wise, my big bro. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't afraid to admit it. That was my big bro. At that time, before I went to prison, ain't nobody do it in LG like why. Nobody did it like why. You know what I'm saying? And the big homie swells. The big homie swells came through there and shook it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But why? Wise was my guy. You know what I'm saying? And listen, 
growing up with world, I had to watch that friendly got that brotherly competition, man. That shit was funny. See, Wise used to, you know, put his foot in world ass, but he ain't never beat on him. He ain't never fuck him up. See, Wise and Heinish used to fight because they was more closer to age. The world was so little, Warriors should just get a, you know, a little rough around a collar or kicking his ass and sit on his weight. So why is he never fuck him up? And I don't think when they became adults, they ever had a fair one. If they did, I was in prison. You know what I'm saying? If they did fight a fair one, I was in prison. But yeah, man, those are my guys, man. Wise and world, man. Brotherly competition, part one, here at the Real Big Food Park. That's only I can give it to you, man. Listen, man, shout out all the homies. You know what I'm saying? The original, the original sandbox CMP niggas, man, who was dead day one. You know what I'm saying? When we didn't even know it was going to end like that. You know what I'm saying? We was just some little niggas in the projects hanging out, chilling. Butter, butter running around on his fake stick up shit. I'm in Midtown. Porto selling jacks out the mailbox. Peter Rab in Midtown. You know what I'm saying? Uh, DJ and World hustling. You know what I'm saying? We was never meant to be no fucking gang. We was just a bunch of little niggas in LG who worked together, man. And we, we hung tight. And it just ended like that. Yo, them niggas she and they. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we only had seven buildings, man. What the fuck you expect, man? We only had seven buildings, so all we had was us. And I say that to the day. We all we got. And I meant that shit. All we had was seven buildings. But that brotherly competition was a motherfucker, man. You had to be there, man. There's some dudes out there right now, man, who was there for that shit. Butter, <laughs> Popsy, <laughs> Porto, you know what I'm saying? Ramos, a.k.a. Rayon, my Cody. Listen, man, Manny P. Yo, y'all was there for that shit. Y'all remember that shit? Y'all know I ain't lying? World and wild. World and fucking wise, boy. Oh, he drove wise crazy, boy. <laughs> he drove wise crazy, boy. Boy, the mother, man. But I'm going to tell you how much he loved wise in part two. My brother's keeper. That's when the plot thickens. Because I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Yeah, I'm going to go there. Straight jacket. I'm going to go there. It's that time. I'm going to go there. Y'all wanted world versus wise. My brother's keeper. I'm going to give y'all world versus wise. My brother's keeper. So until next time, man, get your popcorn ready. Roll your blunts, all that good shit. Pop your bottle. You know what I'm saying? Because that part two, that shit going to be lights out. Shots going to fly. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going to get called out about their fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Niggas' names going to get put on blast about the bitch shit. Like, I'm going there. I'm going there. I'm going there. He's called my brother's keeper for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And we going to talk about why was he his brother's keeper. And I can't get there without addressing all that other shit. So we going there on part two. My brother's keeper. The world versus rise right here at the Real Big Food Podcast. The voice of the streets. Only I could do this shit, sir. Can't nobody else sit here and do this. You know what I'm saying? And I pride myself on that. You know what I'm saying? I pride myself on being the only person that can do it. And it ain't no cap. It ain't no cap. It ain't no cap. You know what I'm saying? So listen, I'm going to end this segment with a shout out the world. Hold your head. Shout out to the whole original sandbox CMP niggas who was dead day one when we was just trying to hang out at World Crib and play some fucking video games, smoke some weed. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't no fucking gang. So shout out to all those dudes. You know what I'm saying? World, I love y'all niggas. Y'all my guys. Real talk. And uh, wise, rest in peace, homie. Listen, man, as long as I can do it and the people want to hear it, I'm going to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep wise name alive. Just like I'm going to keep world name ringing until they free world. Real talk. And on that note, it's your boy Big Foot. I'm going to get up out of here. Until next time, salute.